In today's episode, we are going to be talking about the French and Indian War. In the 1750s, Britain and France had colonies in North America. The British wanted to settle in the Ohio Valley and to trade with the Native Americans who lived there. The French built forts to protect their lands with the Native American Indians. Whoa, 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 whoa. How in the blue moon of Kentucky was George Washington involved in the French and Indian War? In 1754, George Washington led an army against the French. He was defeated. Britain declared war on France. The war for control over the valley was called the French and Indian War. Most American Indians in the region were allies of the French. What is an ally? Ally is probably a word that's short for allegiance, which means to align or to side with. Well, what was the nature of the relationship between the French and the American Indians? Well, the American Indians liked the French because they traded, but they didn't settle on the land, and they actually dignified them with respect. In 1754, a Congress of the British Colonies met in Albany, New York. What is a Congress? A Congress is a group of representatives who meet to discuss a subject. Benjamin Franklin thought that the colonies should work together to defeat France. Each colony would still have its own government. They would also create one government together to decide important issues. His idea was called the Albany Plan of Union. The colonists rejected it. They did not want to join together under one government. In 1757, Britain sent more soldiers to North America. This was to help defeat the French in Canada. In 1763, Britain and France ended the war and signed the Treaty of Paris. France gave Britain control of Canada and most of the land east of the Mississippi River. British soldiers stayed in the Ohio River Valley. How did the American Indians feel about the British soldiers living in the Ohio Valley? Well, they preferred that the British soldiers leave. To avoid more conflict with the American Indians, King George III of England made the proclamation of 1763. It recognized the American Indians' right to the land. It did not allow the colonists west of the Appalachian Mountains. The colonists were angry. The American Indians preferred that the British soldiers did not live amongst them in the Ohio Valley. The colonists did not want the British soldiers to live amongst them either. The colonists had the belief that it was their land to settle and no one else's. The French and Indian War left many questions unanswered. Who was going to pay for the war? How were they going to pay for the war? How would the British American colonists handle the quartering of British soldiers in their homes? All of these questions would be answered in the American Revolution. Thank you so much for watching. Until we meet again, check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest boards. Check out more videos on our YouTube channel, and head on over to our blog at bowtieguyandwife.com.